Okay, this is the attempt number two. So we have this circuit has uh, resistance 100 ohms and a 1k ohm RG VN we don't know. That's a big question mark. Uh, voltage for gate to turn it on is 0.75 volts and voltage uh, or current to turn it on is 7 milliamps I holding is 6 milliamps. We're going to ignore this I holding for right now and figure out how much voltage is going to require on VN to turn this SCR on. Alright, we came up with a formula before and it follows Ohm's law so the voltage here plus the voltage here should equal the voltage here. Now to find the voltage here we need resistance and current. We have resistance, we have uh, formula here um, voltage gate threshold plus RG IGT uh, is equal to VN. So voltage gate threshold is right here. Uh, it's 0.75 volts times 1k ohm plus this 7 milliamps uh, is equal to VN. So we got 0.75 volts times uh, yeah, that come out to 7 volts. So Vn has to equal 7 volts plus 0.75 volts of 7.75 volts. That is the voltage at the gate required to turn this SCR on, this entire circuit. When we turn it on, we will have... Um, well, it's not quite this because there's a 0.7 volt drop across the SCR. It'd be more like 14.3 milliamps. Um, through it, which is plenty of current to keep this turned on because 14.3 milliamp is much higher than 6 milliamp. If we crank the voltage here down so that we uh, get to the point where there's not enough uh, current through this um, we want to find out what that voltage is. Uh, question is how do we find it? We've got a 0.7 volt drop uh, across uh, anode to cathode that's 0.7 volt drop and we have the 6 milliamp minimum current through this 100 ohm resistor. So 6 milliamps times 100 ohm is 0.6 volts. Uh, plus the uh, 0.7 volts it gives us 1.3. So when VCC drops below 1.3 volts then this SCR will shut off. Or if you use one of the other methods to shut it off, it will also shut off.